Uh, last year wasn't exactly uh, what I would want as a ball player, mm -hmm. but you know that's, that's what you have. Everything's a growing process. So uh, the the really good thing, and you know the thing that we like to see is the growth throughout the year. Um, and so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to try to build upon it. Um, that's all you can ask, really. Uh, you know, I played pretty well for the last few games of the season. Hopefully I can carry that into this year. We've got a lot of goals as a linebacker crew. Uh, I think we've got now a set of guys that can play instead of just one guy who's really, really good and then the other guys are just kind of out there. Um, and I think that's just going to be better for the defense as a whole. Um, that's going to be better for the linebacker group as a whole. And you mentioned the group thing. I, I, I just talked to, to Darren Lee, and he talked about how you and Curtis really kind of tried to take the reins of that, mm -hmm. leading everybody in the summer. What type of stuff did you guys do to try to get the linebackers ready for this fall camp? There's a lot of team building and stuff outside of workouts. You know, you, the workouts are the things that you come here and you do at the Woody. Uh, that's what's expected of you. But it was everything else that's not necessarily expected of you. Um, we've hosted dinners for the linebackers at our apartments and you know we made all the food and we had guys over playing video games and watching television doing that whole thing um we went paintballing as a group which was really really fun uh you know we we did a lot of things this summer we even read a book um the traveler's gift as a group and that was just to to build the team and and to learn how to handle and manage situations a little bit better um, so the more we can get to do those things, the more that we have guys who, who embrace leadership roles, I think the better off we'll be. Now, we just spoke to Urban before we came out here. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you by name as a guy who's got to, quote, step up and play big. Do you yep. feel that going into this year, that there might be a little bit of pressure on you to step into, maybe not fill exactly what Ryan did, but, you know, at least keep the momentum going? Yeah, but that's why you come to Ohio State, uh, especially as a linebacker. You know that you're going to be expected to uh, play a big role in the defense and on the team. You're going to be expected to be a leader. Um, you're going to be expected to have to step up in the big situation. So we, we take that on. We embrace it. Um, you know, I think that we've got a few guys in our room who have that type of mentality. Um, even the young guys are coming in, and we're, we're training them to think like that. Uh, we're trying to get Ohio State linebackers especially back to the level that they were in the past. And we, we've got some great guys to look back on. We had one in our room who just got drafted. And, you come back and, and Bobby Carpenter's around and you see guys like James Laurinaitis and, and Marcus Freeman is a guy who's been around and that we've talked to. And so when you see those type of examples, uh, you realize why you're here and you know that you're just going to have to step up and play big. Speaking of leadership, you're one of the leaders of this Joshua B. Graves movement. I know mm -hmm. you didn't do it for publicity, yep. but you've got a lot of publicity about that over the, the course of the offseason. How, how has Joshua impacted you, and, and how, is, how have you tried to impact him? Uh, the, more, the most interesting thing is that, uh, you know, everybody sees that what we've done for him and how we've impacted him. But I think the bigger thing is what he does for us, and that's, uh, you know, he, he, he's an inspiration. And when you see a little guy like that, he's, you know, four years old and beat cancer, you know, he's still in now the hospital and he's sick. And you see what he's able to do with the smile on his face. I think it's a great thing. Um, interesting enough, I think on Tuesday he's starting school and he's celebrating a birthday coming up here within the next week too. Uh, and I think that's a big deal. You know, something that puts a smile on your face knowing that he's doing all that. He got his big boy haircut the other day for school and they went to school supply shop and met the teacher and everything. So uh, to, to be able to have someone like that come in your life and have an impact is a great thing and I think that the one thing that I'm thankful for is that I have a platform to get his story out there and be able to share it with people.